when I saw how much plastic waste there was, it just didn't seem like it fit in with what I believed to be an ethical life. I began seeing all the trash on the street and thought, well, there's so much plastic that exists already. I could just use that, and that seemed to integrate more into my lifestyle. And so it was an ethical, political choice to not use so much waste. But then again, I do feel like I'm an artist first, so I sometimes use other materials. My name is Sherry Mendelson, and I make sculpture, and I mainly use recycled bottles that I cut up and put back together. I was recently in Sunset Park. As I was walking down the hill in Sunset Park, I saw all the people had the bins for composting, and I was so happy to see that. I think that it probably has gotten better, but there's still just so many bottles all over the street or just in the garbage bins on the corners. You know, maybe if there were more recycling bins, there's as many bottles all over as, you know, as when I started this project. Resources are not my problem when it comes to plastic trash. I think of myself as an artist with a passion for the environment. I guess I think that if I was an, an environmentalist, I would probably lead a very different life. I mean, if I was an environmentalist first. It's hard to live in this world in the way that we do, and every single decision is an ethical decision. And I can drive myself crazy with that. I just did this glass residency, and there's part of me that said, well, a big part of my artistic practice is the element of finding and not of um, creating more waste. And there's a great freedom to that, in that I, when I find something, it kind of lightens, the, um, lightens my mood in the studio, that it came from trash, and if the piece doesn't work out, it'll go back to trash. Nothing really lost. There's no great harm to the environment because it isn't that resource intensive. But that said, sometimes a piece needs something else. You know, there's always these trade-offs, and if my life was set up more as completely as I'm just an environmentalist, I probably would not have a car, which I have. I would not have a house in the country. I would ride my bike everywhere. I would probably have a bit of a different life. that I often work is I'll find a bottle like these and um, I like the top of this bottle. I've made a number of pieces like this which are kind of related to uh, an early Syrian bottle. So I'll often use um, two of these types which I put together um, as a starting point for making something like this. I, took a mold of something like this and ended up with, a, with this piece in glass, which was based off of the, the mold of this part of it. Um, I'm also working now on this one that's a little larger with these um, palm bottles. They come in these great shapes, but they're also very round. So basically what I end up doing is um, Kind of cutting them apart. I've been very pleased with the response to the work. And, um, you know, I think even people that don't spend a lot of time at the Metropolitan Museum or don't spend a lot of, where, and I do spend a lot of time there looking at the ancient art, but even people that don't really know ancient art or haven't studied it have a feeling when they look at the work, they'll often say, this reminds me of a uh, ancient Roman piece. So I like the fact that everyone seems to have some reference point to something. Or they'll say, you know, this looks like a Peruvian ceramic thing. So everyone has some sort of reference. And I think that that acts as a really nice touchstone to introduce them into the work. And that work is so wonderful that, you know, there's endless resources to draw from. For me, part of the fun is then transforming it into something new and sometimes they stick very closely to that source and sometimes they um, go off in their own direction. 
But there has been a great response. And I think the fact then that they're also made of recycled plastic, people really like because sometimes people really don't get that and they don't really understand where the recycled plastic is. And then they begin to see, you know, like a, a logo or recycling stamp or label from vitamin water. And then they, you know, begin to get it. You know, that too draws them in. I love making things with their hand. Often being an artist doesn't really involve that. You know, for a lot of artists, it's coming up with an idea and having it produced or working conceptually. So there's so many different ways of being an artist, but for me, it really is about being in the studio and, and building and making things. I mean, I guess I think in this time when so many people are spending so much time in front of a computer and so much is happening in the virtual world, that the fact that people are really interested in making things themselves is kind of wonderful and it kind of shows, I think, a little bit of that balance that we need in our lives, that it's not just all about the virtual world or the amount of information, but we want to have that tactile experience of having some control and some kind of ability to, to make things ourselves.